Yo, how's everyone doing? Welcome back for another Forza Horizon 3 Forzathon event, and this event was actually revealed to us pretty early. It's going to be starting on Friday, March 10th, which is three days from the time of me making this video, but let's get right into the challenges. The first challenge is to perform three drift tap skills using a GT car, and if you do this, you'll get a very nice 45,000 XP, so go to your auto show just to make sure in case anyone doesn't have a GT car, and you can filter it, just scroll all the way down to the bottom and finally you'll see GT cars and you can pick whichever one of these you want and I highly recommend you just leave it stock if you already don't have one because you really do not need to upgrade the car or tune it at all to complete this challenge but you can pick from any of these cars that you see here whichever one is your favorite and all you have to do is pretty much go out somewhere find somewhere where there's like a rail I think that's probably the best place to go and just initiate a drift and just make sure your rear bumper gently taps into it and when you do this you'll get the drift tap it's very simple and easy you just have to do that three times and you will get the 45,000 XP now the second challenge is to complete a race and if you do this you'll win the 2017 Bentley Continental Super Sports and I actually looked in the Horizon promo and I could not find this car so I'm thinking that they're gonna add it in with an update this week we're gonna have to see but I hope it doesn't turn out being like the Subaru because as far as I'm aware I have not found it in the game if anyone else has just let me know, but once again, just blueprint a circuit, one lap, it's very simple and easy, just complete the race, that's all you have to do, you don't even have to win, and you'll be able to hopefully win that car. The third challenge is to beat any rival using a Bentley, and if you do this, you'll get three wheel spins, so once again, just go to your rivals, go to the festival routes, and you can pick whichever area you want, it really does not matter, but I recommend picking a circuit race because the circuits are the shortest obviously of the races the sprints are usually double the distance so they take double the time and you have to be in a Bentley though so make sure you're in any Bentley just pick the class that your Bentley is in and go and beat that time that someone set so the lap on any of the circuits should take under one minute and as long as you beat one of those rivals you'll be able to win the three wheel spins now the final challenge is to complete any playground game using a British car and if you do this you'll get 120 25,000 credits so that is very very good and the easiest way to do this is just go into a private session private online free roam once again and you can pick any of the playground games I highly recommend choosing infected because you can easily just play with one of your friends which that's obviously required to do a private match you have to be with one of your friends but just tap into each other right away and then that's over you completed a playground game but you have to make sure you're in a British car so a Bentley is a British car I would just stick with that since you have to use that for the other challenges. But that is all you need to know for this Forzathon event. The second that I figure out exactly what that car is or see it in the game, I will leave a comment on this video making sure that everyone's aware that the car is actually in the game. I really feel like it's going to come with an update this week. I'm not 100% sure why the car isn't in the game already, but hopefully it doesn't end up like the Subaru. Hopefully the car will be put in the game so we can actually win it when we're supposed to be able to. But if you have any questions at all, please just let me know. If you need help with any of the events, also let me know. My Xbox Gamer tag is always in the description of my videos. But as always, thank you very much for watching. I really hope that everyone finds this video to be helpful or useful and makes everyone aware of the event. But have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll talk to y'all again very soon. Peace out.